alright? Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Kaw Halayim Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakaw Kodash, Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Honors and salutations to Austin Siakim on the four corners of this earth. Labor and honesty and sincerity and sound doctrine and charity. And to the Akwathim and to the, to, the, to, to the children that believe on the true name of the Father and Son. Who the Father's name is Yahweh and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Alright? My name is Maka Allah Ben Gad Ben Yasha Allah. I'm with the Watchman Philadelphia Kent. All right, and I just want to um, go go over uh, the book of Matthew, um, Salaki again. The book of Matthew, uh, chapter five. I'm gonna start at verse twelve, man. You know, because a lot of us is getting persecuted and all that, man. I, my my, I call my kids today. My son, Ma, always talking shit. You know, this past week at camp, you got this uh, sodomite talking crazy. You know, talking about our garments, man. You know, we get persecuted daily, man. All right? But guess what, man? It's, it's, it's all for good reason, man. All for good cause, man. All right? And this is basically like a a, um, like a, mo a motivational, uplifting message for, for the whole for elect, man. All right? Because, man, we, we go, through, go, go, go through so much, man. In the day, and and uh, people just look at us and see us out there on the highways and byways, you know. They they so a lot of them call us bums, man. Tell us go get a job, get off the street corner. When they, when they have enough, they they don't know anything about us, man. Don't know don't know nothing about our personal life, man. And you see us on these cameras and everything, like oh, they, they, they look like he's doing good. You you don't know how our lives are, man. You know. But wisdom is much sorrow, man. Much grief, man. All right. Mm -hmm. What to say? Uh, when you increase wisdom, you, you you increase grief, man. So this this is a you say a painful process, man, because you realize how much more wicked this place is, man. The more you learn in this truth, and you're always going to be learning while you're in this truth, man. All right. Now it's the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse twelve. It says, "Rejoice and be." And this is Yahweh Shah speaking, man, in red letters. All right, so he he's he's giving us these words of encouragement, man. All right, it says, "Rejoice and be exceeding exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you." All right, so 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 let me read that again, man, because that's your pa, man. It says, "Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven." For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you, man. So the prophets that was before us, man, they persecuted them the same way. They had trials and tribulations. They had to be tried like gold is trying to fire. And guess what? We them same prophets coming back reincarnated, man, right now. You know? The Most High brought back all his prophets, man, to, to condemn this place. Because this this the last ca ca uh, captivity that we going to be in, man. All right? So rejoice, man, when you have your uh, little little downfalls, you know, uh, your persecution. You're supposed to rejoice, man. Why? Because cause, cause the same thing happened in the old time. That's why I told you what's written the four time was for our learning and for our understanding, man. All right? But you're supposed to learn from your mistakes, not keep doing them over and over and over again, man. All right? It says, um, verse 13 says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and then to be trodden under under foot of men, man. You know, so that like we we like we we the flavor like when you got food, man. You know, and it's kind of bland. It tastes like damn. It, it ain't tasting good enough, man. You sprinkle that salt on it to give it that little kick, that little flavor. Now, now you're like, damn. Now this, this thing right, man. I can eat it now. You know, that's just like this earth, man. If you ain't had the Israelites, man, this this earth would be fucking boring, man. It would be corny, man. A bunch of heathens, and it would be more confusing than it, than it already is, man. You know, and this for the two thirds, man. 
Because the two thirds, man, they 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 lost they they saved them, man. They they lost their flavor, man. You know why? Because they started whoring out the different gods, wanting to be like other nations, man. So mm -hmm. what's they good for? To be trodden, to be trodden under the foot of men, man. And that's what's happening to us now, man. You know, we being trodden under the foot of men. But all that's about to turn around, man. You know? Verse uh verse 14 says, Ye are the light of the world. Alright, so we we the light of this world, man. Why? Because we bring the knowledge into this world, to this dark place, man. Alright? With a light. Like that song that <laughs> In church, they sing that song, Let Your Light Shine, man. That's what we're doing right now, man, by bringing out these scriptures, you know? Uh, 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 putting Esau out there, man. All right? It says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So we're a city that's set on the hill. So we, 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 we're we held high, man. All right? Sp uh, starting with the elect. A Yasharala, man, they held to a high standard to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. All right, so if you have a city, you know, it says a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So if you see a, a city that's on a mountain or something like that, how are you going to hide that? How are you going to do that, man? Because everybody's going to be able to see it, man. You know? Verse 15 says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on, on a candlestick. And to lock it, and it and and it giveth light unto all that are in the house, man. All right, it giveth light to all that's in the house. So you're not going to light a candle, all right. And that candle represents your knowledge, man. You're not going to get this knowledge for for the hopeful elect. They're not going to get this knowledge and hide it, man. They're going to put it out there and continually put it, continually put it out there, man. All right, continually seeking for for ways to bring this truth out, man. All right. You're not gonna get this now, but you got yeah. some niggas. Look at Comfy and them niggas, man. They get the they get the uh, knowledge, and then they 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 jack it all up, twist it all up. So they 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 them niggas that hid the hid the light underneath a bushel, man. Cause they're not telling you the whole truth, man. All right. It says uh verse sixteen, says let your light let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. All right. So when they see your good works, they glorify your Father which is in heaven. Because then now they 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 glorify you by like, yo that was a good lesson. I you know what I'm saying. But they're not glorifying you for sake because you, these are not our words, man. So they're glorifying your Father which is in heaven, which is Yahweh, man. And also they give them they give them props to Yahweh Shah. So they give them props to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You know. I'm gonna read that one more time and I'm gonna close it on that, man. Cause that that's that's a Yapa what Yapa man, Yapa that's beautiful. It says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. So what's letting your light shine during these videos, man? Going out there on the highways and byways, man. You know? When you in traffic, you, you talking to people, man. You telling them you bend them to the marriage, telling them the good news, telling them the gospel, telling them who they are. I do it every day, man. You know, it's to the point at my job, you know, they, they be like, damn, they asking me questions now. You know, so that, that right there is an example of letting your light shine, man. When you come into this truth and, and you deem yourself to be a prophet, or your how about some deems you to be a prophet, man. All right. This is your life right here, man. This is first priority, man. This comes before your kids, before your woman, before your mother, you know, before your job. Before your life Because this is your life This is the only thing that's going to give you life man This right here man The only thing that's going to save you out of this captivity The only thing that's worth doing man The only thing that's not vain man Alright I'm going to read that one more time It says let your light shine Salakia, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven, man. All right. So let that let that sink in to the hopeful elect, man. I don't want to the the Lord's willing that made sense, and hopefully that the Yuakim, Akwafim, and children were edified, man. 
You know? I pray that you are edified. And so whoever this message is for, Lord's will that you get, you, you get it and you receive it. All right? Because we do these sit-downs and, and lessons and we don't know why we're doing them. Why? Because the Spirit hops on us to do so. All right? And with that, to the next lesson, Shalom, Yashua.